Nasdaq Nifty is now down over 100 points as you said uh, Nifty is down over 400 points so it a lower start for our own markets as well so we're currently 114 points lower on the SGX Nifty for the last four months that is february march april may nifty and bank nifty either has gapped up or gapped down and it is not a normal gap up or normal gap down on an average nifty has gapped down more than 350 points or let me say around 250 points to 300 points and you know bank nifty bank nifty has gapped up more than even 400 or 500 points and this has been the normal now new normal now since february and astonishingly it has gapped up or gapped down more than eight times in the last four months alone and you know the probably you know the reason why it is happening right inflation in the uk has hit a 40 year high inflation is much too high and we understand the hardship it has caused. And we're moving expeditiously to bring it back down. Full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine that it was imminent, Vladimir Putin. Now, China continues to battle its worst surge ever since the coronavirus pandemic began. Authorities in the Chinese city of Shanghai have imposed a phased lockdown. Let's now focus on the economy and the rupee weakened to an all-time low, trading nearly 77.40 to the dollar. This has... Now, in this video, we will see how we can manage these gap ups and gap downs. Of course, there are some uh, things like you have, you will have to spend up, you will end up spending more when it comes to managing a, a gap up and gap down. But before going into the content itself, let me describe you or let me illustrate you what is gap up and gap downs and why it is happening. Let us say, for example, Nifty is at sixteen thousand and. Uh, <clears throat> after our markets are closing there is any bad news or there is any good news right now what you do in the next day when the market opens actually the market opens on at around 9 9 a.m right between 9 a.m to 9 15 a.m they call it pre-opening session right so what in case you want to place any orders or in case you want to buy any stock or in case you want to sell any stock you can place between 9 a.m to 9 15 p uh, a.m actually you can place between 9 a.m to 9 7 only so what the system will do or what the nse will do is they will uh, find the equilibrium which is the fair price and decide whether what is going to be the correct price now before 2010 there was no pre-open session it was just uh, directly market open but it ended up in a very highly volatile move so since after 2010 nifty introduced pre-open session and it has been since then like this now after uh, because of uh, geopolitical situation any positive news or any negative news this uh, pre-market session buying and selling is happening and that is why gap ups and gap downs are occurring now if you want a brief uh, description uh, uh, if you want a brief video about uh, pre uh, gap ups and gap downs you let me know on the comment section below we will find a, we will post a separate video on gap ups and gap downs now as an option seller or as, as an option buyer what how does this gap up and gap downs affect affects you let us say for example you have sold a call option right uh, if market is at 16,000, you have sold a 16,000 at the money call option, right? You are, you are anticipating that the markets may go up, but due to unfore unforeseen situation, there is some bad news, um, there is some geopolitically bad news, and the market is gapping down, right? So what is going to happen, right? So, sorry, there is some good news. So you have written a call option, and if the market opens positively, Let's say market is opening at 200 points on the upside and you have sold at the money call option. You will be in trouble, right? So how do you manage this position? How do you take a hedge or how do you overcome this overnight uh, positions or carry forward position which you have overnight position and avoid the losses or in some extent you can minimize the losses also right so we will see about some very simple strategies which you can deploy for that reason let me go to uh, sensible right so this is sensible 
Now, what I have done here is it is called bull call spread, right? Let us assume you have uh, market is at 16,584 and you have a return of 16,500 at the money call option, which might be trading at around 100 rupees or 150 rupees or even 200 rupees. Now you anticipate that the market may come down, but since there is any positive news, let us say US jobs their jobs report has come positively or some good uh, good positive news has come. So the market is gapping up. So instead of just selling a naked call option in our example, the, the call which you have sold at the money 16,500 call which you have sold is your main trade. Whatever I am going to tell you is the secondary trade. You don't have to, <clears throat> you don't have to correlate uh, both of them. You will have to see this trade as a separate trade and your main trade as a separate trade, right? The, in, if you mingle these trades, you will end up confusing and there will be a lot of confusion, right? Now, what I have done here is I have constructed a simple bull call spread. So, what is bull call spread? It is nothing but uh, uh, buying a 16,000 call option at the same time selling a 16,800 put option. Now you will ask me one question. Already I have sold 16,000 call option and uh, then how can I, uh, I have sold 16,000 call option then how can I buy? So the trade will be neutral, right? You are right. So what you have to do is, let us say for example, instead of uh, since you have sold 16,600 or 16,500 call option on 9th June expiry, go to the next expiry. What the main trade is on your current uh, current week expiry, the hedge or the insurance which you are going to take is going to be on the next week expiry, right? So buy 16,600 call option at the same time sell 16,800 put option or even 16,000. 900 call option right you sell, you buy 16600 call option and you sell 16900 call option right now in case as you anticipated if the market comes down your 16500 call option on the current week expiry will give you good profit right at the same time the hedges which you made or the bull call spread which you made will be in loss but the losses are going to be minimal right let's say for example if uh, on monday uh, let's assume you have taken this trade on you have sold a call option on friday 16500 call option on friday and monday if the market gaps down by one percent you will lose 2442 rupees at the same time your call might give you good profit because you are selling at the money call option. But what happens if the market gaps up, right? If the market gaps up by 1%, this uh, bull call spread will give you a profit of 16,600. At the same time, you will have some losses because at the money call option will be in the money or deep in the money and will create problems to you. So you can just uh, do the max maybe you will limit the losses you are not going to like you are not going to completely erase the losses but you can minimize the losses now there are some other things we can do in this also now let us assume you don't want to in case the market doesn't gap up uh, is not gapping up but it is gapping down your original trade will give you profit but your hedge or insurance which you have taken which is a bull call spread will create a problem to in order to tackle your hedges you can do one more thing let us assume let's uh, do this this way instead of uh, buying one lot just to illustrate you or just to show you i have just bought one lot now i have done three lots okay now assume you have sold three lots of call option on 9th june expiry and 16th june expiry I have bought 16,600 uh, uh, call option and at the same time 16,900 call option 3 lot I have sold. Now let us assume uh, you buy one more 16,600 put option at the same time you sell 16,300 uh, or maybe even 16,100 uh, yeah, uh, put option. 
right so this can uh, limit the uh, downside risk when it comes to your hedges so if the market gaps down as you anticipated the calls will be in profit and the losses in this trade will also be limited let us say instead of going 1% on the upside if the market gaps down by 1% you will lose only around 3200 rupees if this uh, this uh, thing is not there you might lose more than 6400 right that is the beer put spread if the beer put you have already constructed a bull call spread if you had you not constructed a beer put spread your losses would be 6400 since you have constructed a beer put spread your losses will be half of of uh, 6000 that is around 3280 right so this is just a simple strategy you just play around with this strategy and see if this strategy is working and of course it is going to cost you this strategy alone is costing around 1 lakh 15000 rupees so this is a very simple strategy that we were looking for to tackle this gap ups and gap downs. Uh, I hope, uh, see whatever I am doing is just giving you a thought provoking process. You will have to work out yourself if this trade, if this strategy is working or you just have to tweak it or you have to just uh, do something else to make it work in your favor, right? If you enjoy this video or if you like this video, uh, please do subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.